Hey everyone, welcome back. Today is day number three. You're doing awesome so far. So today you will need a blank piece of paper and a pen. So you probably all have that laying around. Um, today's tip is to plan out your meals and snacks at least once a week. So especially during the holidays, things get so busy and it's easy when you're so busy just to go out to eat and eat fast food and just to grab things wherever you are and not to plan. So whenever we do that, we're gonna spend more money during the holidays and, and we don't wanna spend more money than we have to during the holidays. Um, we are going to eat things that probably aren't the healthiest and then we will just end up you know, blowing our health and fitness goals. So if we can plan, then we'll be prepared. So on one side of the paper, you wanna plan out your meals and your snacks for the coming week. So just take, you know, at least 30 minutes a week to write down a plan. Um, and it takes time, you know, to get used to starting to plan, especially if you don't do this. Um, but just block out, like we talked about yesterday on our calendar, block out at least 30 minutes a week that you're going to plan out your meals and your snacks. So on one side, I would put my plan for the week. I would just put all the days of the week. And then I'd put, um, you know, it's, it's best to eat every couple of hours, two to three hours. And so I would put breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, and then I would post it in my kitchen so that I can see it every week. Um, then on the flip side, and I had some help from my daughter, I don't know if you can see the little picture, <laughs> uh, but on the flip side of the paper, you can write out a grocery list of all the things that you need to buy at the store. So you can just go grocery shopping once a week. So I usually write down, you know, all the meals on one side that I'm going to make. And I usually start with dinners, you know, start with dinners and then kind of fill in the rest of the, the meals and snacks. And then on the other side, I, I break it out. I put like dairy, meat, veggies, fruit, um, you know, all the different categories of food. And so then when I go to the store, then it's all there and I know how to, um, it's all organized and ready to go. So I will post some of my favorite websites of where I get some of my healthy recipes from. Um, so you can check them out. They're free and you can get some ideas. Um, but all you need is a piece of paper and a pen. And when I started meal planning, I'm still not perfect at it. But when I started meal planning and preparing for the week, I made much healthier choices than if I didn't. So today's challenge is to plan out your meals and your snacks for next week. So, and then you can even post it in the group or post it publicly, tag me in it, and I can give you suggestions and feedback on your meal plan. So something to consider, just a tip, um, is when you're planning your meals, do you want it to be like an upside down triangle? So when you're eating, you should eat more at the beginning of the day and less at the end of the day. So just like an upside down triangle, eat more at the beginning. Most people do it the opposite. They eat more at night and less at the beginning. Um, but throughout your day, you're gonna be going. And so um, by the end of the day, you're able to burn off you know, what you ate earlier. So think of the upside down triangle, eat the most at the beginning and the least amount at night and start winding down, you know, stop eating at the latest, maybe seven o'clock at night. So I'm excited to hear how your meal planning and prep goes and also put that on your calendar as a day that you're going to schedule your planning. So have a great day, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.